Kmart. The place for quality pictures is... Because the Kmart Photo Center now uses only Kodak paper and Kodak chemicals. Kodak Kmart. products that give you Kmart. quality in every Kmart. picture. So take your film to the Kmart Photo Center. For Kmart. pictures that say quality, Kmart. say... Kmart! Kmart. I love it! Thank you! Speaking for Burger King, I am proud to announce that we have just changed the Whopper. Hey! You in a suit! You're in a lot of trouble. I know you're all behind us on this. I like the Whopper the way it was, fool. The new Whopper has more beef than ever. More beef than Big Mac or Wendy's Single. And it beat them both for best taste. More beef? Better taste? The new Whopper. More beef than Big Mac or Wendy's Single. And winner for best taste. Okay, fool. It's good. <laughs> I'll let you live. Glenn Miller remembered. Saturday at 7. We would like to welcome you back to the Woodland Park Zoo as we extend by one half hour our Elephon, the first ever that we've ever heard of. And what a great cause, getting a whole new home, a whole new environment for the elephants here at the Woodland Park Zoo. We welcome you back to the extension of our Elephon, and we ask that uh, you call and make a pledge and help us out in this effort. Uh, Susan Hutchison and Steve Rabel are up on stage with us now. Susan and I will be together for Eyewitness News Update tonight at 11. Susan and Steve, of course, are seen every day on Eyewitness News at 4.30. Before we get into everything, how about checking out a new total for us? Sounds great. Love to. New total, please. Can we see it? 1,800,000 ducks served, $57,358. Thank you very much. Tropical rainstorm, we appreciate that. And it's and been kind of fun. It has been. And you can call. The number on your screen there is 346-8500. And donate e even more so we can just boost that total way up. You're a big fan of the zoo. You come out to the <laughs> zoo, you like to, well, you, you enjoy going to the exhibits and things. My favorite has got to be the reptile area. I love reptiles. You do? Why yes. do you love reptiles, Well, Steve? I don't know. Most of them are small and rather uh, nice skin, <laughs> so I like that. The elephants are great. I was out there with bamboo all evening with Were the you? elephant. Did you get a chance to come out there? I saw, yes, I did. I saw a couple of the elephants out mm -hmm. there. They're just really neat. And, you know, there's so many beautiful areas of the zoo. The savanna, mm -hmm. have you seen that? Yes. And the lion area is just gorgeous. And what a wonderful place for the animals to live and for us to see them in their natural settings. And then what do we have for the elephants? Well, what we're talking about building, five and a half acres on an undeveloped wooded area right here on the zoo property. I understand from Hank that eventually the old elephant house, and you should see it, it really is dilapidated. When the elephants are moved from there into their new area, the savanna, with the, uh, the uh, working demonstration and all the things that they'll have there, that will be turned into parking lot, and that's probably the best thing that could happen to that old elephant house. It is so crowded. Mm. It's dirty. It's concrete. Not enough room for four elephants, built for one elephant. And uh, it's not a great place even for us to come to and, and look at the elephants, much less for them to have to live in it day in and day out. You sound like my dorm room in college, <laughs> as a matter of fact. But it's same architect. Same architect. It's, it's going to be very nice for the elephants. But again, we can't do it without your help. We've had some terrific help from the community, Burlington Northern, and of course, Verge Fazio with the Seattle Post Intelligencer, and all the wonderful people in the city and county who have helped make this possible. But we do need your help. We need you to call, make those phones light up, and make uh, a new life for the elephants here at the Woodland Park Zoo. And that number again is 346-8500. Please call and donate to make a difference here at the Woodland Park Zoo. That's right. Let's check in on the phones right now. Let's move over to Jim Day, I believe, is still at the telephones. Jim? Now, if you had an elephant on wheels like this, you could put it just about anywhere, and uh, the home you had wouldn't really matter. 346-8500, this is just one of the elephant artifacts that Marlene brought. Marlene? Yes. Are all of these yours? Yes. Why? I collect elephants. I've always liked them, and so when I heard this cause was coming up, Figured I better do something about it. Now, of course, Marlene is answering the phones, by the way, 346-8500. I don't know if we can just pan down. She has gone all the way to an outstanding pair of elephant shoes, not available in any store, ladies and gentlemen. Those are, did you make those? No, I bought them. Where? At Leeds at Northgate. Really? Yep. Those are quite some nice shoes. Yep. Now, we're going to let you get back to the phones if you can elephant your way back. Okay. <laughs> thank, thank you very much. Thank you. The number is 346-8500, out of the area 1-800-556-3330. And I don't think Susan or Steve has a pair of shoes that can match that.
And we're with you again, and we'd like to show you some pictures now of what could be. Uh, that's a good question. I'm trying to find out where it is. It's a wonderful uh, videotape piece we have for you right now. And the old Ella house is what it is, and it's not on the script, so let's go right to it now. <laughs> This is the story of a house that is no longer a home. The story of a family of gentle giants who continue to outgrow an environment that was inadequate when they arrived. Beneath their collective 10 tons, the floor cracks. As they continue to grow, the walls move closer together. Hank Klein is the Woodland Park Zoo's assistant curator of education. I think the exhibit pretty much speaks for itself. The, the w outside walls of the elephant building are are obviously peeling. The paint is just peeling right off the crack. Uh, it's literally falling down. The building was originally constructed in the early 20s and a section added to it in the 30s to accommodate two elephants. Well, we now have four elephants there in the space of, of, that was originally intended for two. And so not only is it old, but it's too small. But basically, it's, it's very cold, uh, especially on the, on the winter nights. The elephants uh, have two rooms inside. Only one of them has any heat to it. So the elephants have a tendency to huddle together in the warmer room. Uh, they're in very close proximity to one another. At the current time, we bring in a keeper in the middle of the evening uh, to come in and remove the waste so that they're not standing in it the entire evening. On the surface, one might think fresh paint and a few other improvements would create a much more livable atmosphere for the four animals. But Hank says there are deeper problems. Even if we put $150,000 of improvements by the city into that building to put on a new roof, to repair the concrete floor, uh, to winterize it a little bit more so it's not quite so cold, we'd still be left with a very small, barren facility that doesn't meet the needs of the animals or the people that come to see them. <laughs> Does he bite his back? No. <laughs> What about the people who come to see the elephants? Are the peaceful pachyderms that important to them? The elephants uh, are probably one of the most popular animals at the Woodland Park Zoo. Uh, when we first talked about not having any elephants any longer because we didn't have the means to keep them, uh, there was a public outcry. There's no doubt in my mind, I don't think there's any doubt in the public's mind, that, that they want to see elephants at Woodland Park Zoo. And we're counting on the public to help us to raise enough money to build a new facility for them. The elephants are counting on you as well. With your help, the zoo will have enough money to build a new, better, and bigger home. Then we can close the doors on these cramped quarters forever. There are a lot of very nice people who've helped us out and a lot of people helping right now as we extend this program by one half hour. One of them, a man who makes wonderful music, Michael Tomlinson. Up every morning, the break of day, his face was wrinkled and his hair was gray. You never know how long a man is staying. Donald made his daily round through the meadow and over into higher ground, past where the neighborhood kids were playing. Four long miles and more to go, he knew he could make it if he just went slow. Sometimes it's hard to keep believing But this time he was bound to fly And he practiced hard as the days went by You could hear his strong and steady breathing And the words I know he said I will climb that holy mountain In the hours of the day Let it drain my sturdy body as it may I have worked long and hard to weave this magic from my dreams And I will not run from it till I'm laughing from the summit If my life stood in that moment, let it be, let it be Seven kids, a faithful wife, they loved their daddy and they all knew why He had to try to climb that hill again the northern face of Mount Rainier he had to make it cause he failed last year up where the winter steals all seasons. No 
Now most of us will never know the sound of a mountain in the freezing cold And how hard it is to keep on climbing He just had to listen from the mountaintop Though his leg was missing while he still moved up And everybody knew the man could make it As he turned to his friends I will climb that holy mountain in the hours of the day Let it drain my sturdy body as it may I have worked long and hard to weave this magic from my dreams And I will not run from it till I'm laughing from the summit If my life should in that moment, let it be, let it be I will climb that holy mountain in the hours of the day Let it drain my sturdy body as it may I have worked long and hard to weave this magic from my dreams And I will not run from it till I'm laughing from the summit If my life should in that moment, let it be, Lord, let it be Michael Tomlinson, once again, we thank him for being with us. The numbers to call, 346-8500 or 1-800-556-3330. And you can help make a dream become a reality here at the Woodland Park Zoo. Let's check the total. Let's see how we're doing so far. This is money raised throughout the campaign that's been going on for months. And, of course, tonight with your phone calls, we're approaching $2 million. We're at $1,908,604. Well, let's keep those phones ringing and uh, let's get that number right up there. Virgil Fazio, um, many of us know him, of course, as the publisher of the Seattle PI. He's also the uh, co-chair of the Save Our Elephants campaign. It's going very well. It's going great. And uh, before we go on any further, I would like to take this opportunity, John, to, to thank uh, Ken Hatch, uh, Glenn Wright, you, all the folks at Cairo for just rolling out all the stars tonight for this show but also for extending this telethon another half an hour. The phones are ringing, they're busy. Please keep making your calls. And I do want to pass on another address. After tonight, if you want to send a check, it's to Save Our Elephants, 827 Skinner Building, Seattle, Washington, 98101. Thank you and keep them coming. Virgil, thank you very much. On behalf of everyone at Cairo, we thank you for your words of appreciation. We are very proud to be a part of this community, and we are very proud to be a part of changes here at the Woodland Park Zoo. It's been nice working with you. Right now, let's check in with the phones. Jim Day is there. Let's find out how it's going there. Now, we have an unusual presentation. Uh, we talked to you earlier about elephant shoes. We have Anita with us. Anita, come on over. Don't be shy. Okay. Anita is wearing what we call, what are, they, what are those called, Anita? Duck zoo shoes. Zoo shoes, and those are from the Bon Marche, correct? Yes, they are. Now, it's my understanding that the Bon Marche had a special promotion to raise money for the elephant house. Uh-huh, along with Zoo Shoes Incorporated. And what was that promotion? Well, $5 off of every zoo shoe, uh, elephant shoe, went to the Save Our Elephant campaign, and then $2.50 off of other shoes, like duck shoes and cat shoes, went to the Save Our Elephant campaign. We want to mention these are duck shoes, not elephant shoes. You may be confused at home. And I understand that you raised a little over $1,500, $1,520. Correct. Well, congratulations. Are those comfortable shoes? Very comfortable. I just wish we had the time to show you the bottoms where they have little ducks on the bottoms. It's very nice. Duck footprints, yeah. Duck footprints. Fools people who are tracking you, I would imagine. Usually. Anita, thank you. <laughs> that number again, again is 346-8500, and we're going to give it back to John Marler. Okay, thank you very much, Jim. We've just been checking on the phones down there while Jim was doing the interview. The phone lines are all busy down there, but please keep calling. They'll uh, rush through those phone calls, take those pledges as fast as they can. They do want to talk to you. If you get a busy signal, please call back, 346-8500. Glenn Wright is Vice President of Cairo, General Manager of Cairo Television. This has been one big effort for Cairo TV. Quite an event, you bet. What, what brought it all about from Cairo's perspective? Last year, uh, Hank Klein from the zoo came to the station along with our uh, Virg Fazio from the PI and Dave Williams from Rainier Bank and asked us if Cairo could help support Save Our Elephants campaign. And we thought, uh, you bet, we'd love to get into it. And after uh, 
16 years experience doing the Rotary Club Telethon, we thought, uh, what a better way than support it besides public service announcements than do an elethon, the first in the country, the first in the world. So, you know, what uh, with the Seattle Woodland Park Zoo uh, is, a, is, is an important part of our community. Uh, it's a quality of life in Seattle, the Northwest. And starting off with the kids uh, raising money, now thousands of concerned citizens uh, doing the job. Uh, we're just proud to, to be a part of it. And uh, I just want to give a special thanks to the co-chairman, Virgil Fazio, uh, Bob Truex, the SOE committee for, committee for doing everything, and, and our people, yourself, John, all our talent, and uh, David Dittmar, executive producer, and Sharon Howard, and uh, Judy Law. So, and especially to the people out there, we thank you for your support, uh, coming together to make this uh, so successful, and uh, keep the money coming in, John. And boss, we thank you for letting us all be a part of this. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's very nice for all of us to do this. Right now, how about Tropical Rainstorm? A little more entertainment as we continue our elephant. <laughs>
That's the music of Tropical Rainstorm. Let's check our total now as the phone calls continue to come in. The new total, if we may, $2,027,501. We've caught the $2 million mark. Let's go down now to where the phones are being answered. Check in there one last time. Thank you for making those phones continuing to ring. And thanks to all the people who are manning the phones here. A special thanks to the Touche Ross accounting firm who's helped us kept track of all of the numbers this evening. And you can send your pledge to 1326 Fifth Avenue, number 827, Seattle. The zip code is 98101. And, of course, you can continue to call us at 346-8500. Out of the area, 1-800-556-3330. Back to John. That total again as we pass the uh, two million mark. Uh, let me thank, uh, before we get too far toward the end of this, thank all of the production crew at Cairo Television That's for right, a magnificent right job. job. Some great work tonight. Uh, some of the folks up here on the stage are people you've met throughout the night on the program. We've got about a minute left. Any last thoughts? I just have one question I want to ask Verge Fazio over here about the phones and people that continue to call in after we go off the air at 930. The volunteers assure us that they'll stand by and answer the phones as long as they ring. So keep ringing those phones. Very good. Verge, thank you. Wayne Cody, any parting comments? I don't really know. I'm just amazed at the turnout we had here today with all the nice people that are here. We had a little food. We had a lot of big elephants, and we had a lot of doings, and I hope that everybody enjoyed it, and a lot of nice music and entertainment. Susan? Did you enjoy it, Wayne? I had a great time. Matter of fact, I'm coming back tomorrow, personally, to talk to the elephants about it. I like to do this every night. This is fun in the open air. We could do Oklahoma here. We could have a stage show. Now let's keep the lights and the camera people. Oh, Susan? Guys and dolls. Guys and dolls, when you <laughs> see a guy. Never mind, go right ahead. <laughs> we just also want to thank all of you who gave tonight, who called in, who gave your donations and were so generous. We appreciate it so much and continue to call in, those of you who are still there and would like to make a donation. Good. Say good night, Steve. Good night, Steve. Good night, Susan. <laughs> One last question, if I could, for David Town, the man who runs the zoo. If we could uh, borrow it. the microphone there. David, is it going to make a big difference? It's going How to do make you feel? a major difference. And just the spirit and the fun and the involvement of Cairo, the PI, the Rainier Bank, and everybody makes it, makes it all. We want to take one more look at a total before we say goodbye. The total now, $2,112,678. Our thanks to all of you.